Well, for the past several weeks, red tide has been a big problem in southwest Florida, and now the deadly algae bloom has been detected in high levels right here in Pinellas County as well. Ten Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers joins us live from St. Pete Beach. And Chris, what is it like out there? Some people already getting their day started with you. Yeah, absolutely. The good news, Angelina, is the situation seems to have improved since yesterday. Yesterday, the county was working throughout the day to clear dead fish off the beach. You can see behind me, no dead fish have reemerged, at least as far as we've seen. There is a slight odor in the air, and it could cause some respiratory problems for people who are thinking of visiting the beach today. But certainly, it's not overwhelming in power. According to the latest FWC Red Tide reports, there is moderate levels of the harmful algae bloom directly off the shores of St. Pete Beach here. And further out there's high levels in Maximo Park at the mouth of Tampa Bay. There has been high levels detected as well. FWC research scientist Dr. Katie Hubbard says that's because of a large algae bloom working its way north along the Gulf Coast. For some beachgoers we spoke with, this is their first time experiencing anything like this. Today would be my first day to experience that. Uh, whenever we arrived, we could smell this stench. You can smell this stench in the air, and uh, we were going to locate and set up on the beach down there, and then we noticed a lot of dead fish. Now, Angelina, we do have some good news for you. Last week, I spoke to one of the foremost experts on red tide and the way that it moves. He's a research doctor at the University of South Florida, and he told me they don't expect to see a major red tide event in Tampa Bay like we saw last year. So that's some good news, but certainly this still could cause a hindrance a problem for anyone who's thinking about visiting the beach on this Sunday. Reporting from St. Pete Beach, Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay. Chris, thank you. We'll continue to monitor that for sure.